Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, so this site and today we are going to start with the tumbling window trigger. So in the last two videos, we have discussed about the triggers and schedule trigger. So if you haven't watched those videos, so before going forward, I would strongly recommend to watch those videos. So let's get started about tumbling window trigger. So tumbling window trigger is a type of the trigger and that fires at a periodic time intervals from a specified start time. So tumbling window triggers are going to fire on the periodic time interval like 1 hour, 2 hour or 15 minute, 30 minute. So on that interval it will be executing and we have to specify the start date for that. Next is the tumbling window trigger are a series of the fixed size or non overlapping and contiguous time interval so what it mean so let's go in the excel and we'll try to understand there so here let's assume if we are going to create any trigger and that is the tumbling window trigger and we have specified the start date and end date for that trigger and the execution of that trigger will be in one hour so here it will be going to create one hour window for each hour like it is going to start from nine o'clock and it will be going to create a window for one hour so that will be nine to ten that you can see in the first row after that you can see the second window and this window will be from 10 to 11 so similarly it will be going to create 24 windows as you can see here and it will be completed at 9 pm on second day so we will be going to have separate windows for each hour next is it is important to remember that the tumbling window trigger can be configured to a initiate past and future dates so that we will see later in this video a tumbling window trigger has one to one relationship with the pipeline and can only reference a single pipeline so we can say that in case of the tumbling window trigger it will be going to have a one to one relationship with the pipeline we cannot create a single tumbling window trigger and will be going to associate with the multiple pipelines so that we cannot do it will have only one to one relationship so now go to the browser and we'll try to create the tumbling window trigger in practical so here we are in the last video we have created this trigger that is a scheduled type of trigger now we can create the tumbling window trigger so let me click on new and here we can call this as tumbling window early trigger next here we can specify the description so if you want to specify any description then we can provide like tumbling window trigger here in case of the type we need to select the tumbling window now here we can see the start date so this start date is going to indicate from which date we can start the execution of the trigger so here we can set for today's date like 4 and after that we can set the time as well so as we can see it is 9.15 so we can set the 9.15 here, it's 21 and after that we can set like 30 and after that we can set this as 00, 0 and we can click on OK. So this trigger will be going to start at 9.30 on today and here we can see the recurrence. So this recurrence we can set like 1 hour in our case. So this will be going to execute in one hour. So it will be going to create a separate copies of the windows. So here we have to specify the end date. So we can set this as tomorrow with 9.59.59 and click on OK. So it will be going to have the 24 hour. It will have 24 different different windows and that window will be going to start executing this trigger. 
now go to on the advanced option and in this advanced option we can see the dependencies so we can ignore the dependencies in this video in the next video we will be going to see about the dependencies here we can see the delay so in case of the delay we can set the delay like here we can set like 10 minute so your pipeline will be executing by using this trigger and that will be delayed by 10 minute and after that here we can see the max concurrency so when we can use that so if you can see here we are having this start date and we have this end date and it is executing on every one hour so the same thing we can also get by using the schedule trigger so what is the actual importance of the tumbling window trigger so in case of the tumbling window trigger we can also set your start date as past date but in case of the schedule trigger we cannot set this start date as past date that start date that should be your present date or future date but in case of the tumbling window trigger we can set this as past date so go to on the excel and here if we want to set up your windows from past dates like here we can see the two and let me have the two here as well and let me have the two here and here as well so now here we can see we are setting this for the past dates so this date is the feb 2022 and current date is march 2022 so it will be also creating the window for the past date so this will be the past date one window and this is for the second window and if we want to execute this in the past date then that we can do by using the tumbling window trigger and while we are going to uh, set up the start date and end date with the past dates so on that case here max concurrency will be going to use so here it will be going to create the 24 window and for example if we are having the one month data and we want to execute on the early basis so on that case it will be going to have around so 720 window will be there and we want to execute how many window at a time so that will be the max concurrency so it is 50 by default and we can change it so let me go in the next property that is the retry policy so here we can see the count if your any window is going to fail so do you want to retry here by default is zero so how many time it will be retrying it will be retrying as zero we can set like 10 by 10 times we want to re-execute that window and after that we can see the retry policy intervals in second so for example first window is executed and that got failed next window after what time that will be started so the same window will be started again in 30 seconds so that we can set it here now here we can see the start trigger on creation so let me click on that and click on ok so it will be going to create a new trigger and the type that is the tumbling window trigger it is created now let me go in the pipeline section and we want to set this trigger inside the pipeline so this is the copy details let me go in the trigger and click on the new or edit here we can see the choose trigger let me select this tumbling window trigger everything looks good click on ok now let me save this now we can go in the manage and here inside the triggers we can see the related so under the related we can see the one now we can go again inside the author tab and here go to the another pipeline and here we'll try to set up the tumbling window trigger with this pipeline so as i told you it will have the one-to-one -one relationship so that tumbling window trigger we have already set up with this copy details so that we will not be able to set up under the copy data so let's try to set up and we'll see so go to on the new and edit under the choose trigger here we can see only the schedule trigger is available the first one 
which is the tumbling window is not available because we have already set up that under the copy details. So next we can also create the trigger dependencies so that we will see in the next video how we can set up that. Next we can say that we can also create the self dependent trigger. So what is the self dependent trigger that we will also see in the next video in details. As of now you can only understand we can create the self dependent trigger. So like your trigger will be dependent on your trigger execution like this is the only trigger and it depends the execution of previous window. Once the previous window will be completed the next window will be going to start. Next we can access the window start date time and window end time values by using the system variables that you can see here. So we have to use these two system variable that is the trigger dot outputs dot window start time. So this is for the start and window end time. So this will be for the end. So these two system variables can be used to access the start time and end time of the trigger. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. See you in the next video.